Okay, so now we're going to take a deeper look into poetry and we're going to, um, I'm going to walk you through this, this short quick poem by Gwendolyn Brooks, We Real Cool, and we're going to apply some of the terminology that we learned in the previous video lecture about um, different literary devices, different poetic devices. We're going to apply that here and then the following poem and I'll give you a peek at that. Uh, Fireworks by Amy Lowell. You are going to go through this on your own and you're going to um, also analyze it. I will be putting up deeper instructions in the module. So don't worry about that just yet. Okay, so let's take a look at We Real Cool. So if we read it, um, the first thing I want to point out is if we look here, um, you can see that we have the the period is here, but then the next sentence actually starts at the end of that line. Um, and when we're reading poetry, we actually read according to the punctuation. So this line is going to be read, we real cool, we left school. It is not read, we real cool, we. Okay, so we might take a look and, and say, hmm, why is the uh, author doing this? In poetry, you know, you can have, you can use some kind of, you know, your imagination with, with punctuation and sounds and, and all of that. Um, why would the author do that? There must be a reason. So we'll take a look at that. But first, when we read it, listening to it we real cool we left school we lurk late we strike straight we sing sin we thin gin we jazz june we die soon okay so let that kind of sink in um first thing that we should ask ourselves when we're analyzing a poem is well what is this about <laughs> Well, Gwendolyn Brooks does give us some some ideas. We can look at the title. We real cool. What does what kind of images does that give you? Um, the pool players, seven at the golden shovel. Okay, so we know that whoever this poem is about, they're really cool and they're pool players. Okay, seven of them. I think you can start getting an image here. Okay, um, we see some kind of you know references to school uh, so maybe these really cool people are teenagers young adults and you know you could start reading into this because we real cool we left school okay well you can I, you can start to get that attitude right they're really cool they left school they're hanging out late, right? They strike straight. It's an interesting line. You're going to think about what does that mean? How are they? Are they physically striking, or, or is it you know some other kind of we're we're just talking straight? We're, you know we're just going to let you know how it is. You're going to think about it. All right. We sing sin again. Are they literally singing? Probably not. I mean. But maybe they're living, they're living it with sin. We thin gin. This is kind of an interesting idea too. What what does that mean? Why why is there gin? Gin is a reference to alcohol. Um, you know, are they are they drinking? You know. Um, and this this idea here, jazz June, we jazz June, are they they playing around or they hanging on the street corner you know is it you know jazz has that kind of upbeat kind of connotation to it june also is well the month when you're supposed to leave school right and then the last line the final line we die soon also gives us a, a deeper clue into what this poem is about so if we look at it in total okay we go through it line by line and we can kind of get an idea so we have uh young people they're kind of punky teenagers 
right? You know, but they, they have that kind of mindset where they're they're cool and they're hanging out and they're, they're cutting classes and they're playing pool and they're hanging out late and, you know, maybe they're, they're drinking but they're living a sinful life and all of that kind of stuff. And they also die soon. You get you get to the end. That's what the main point is. And then you also see, like I said earlier, the we, the we, the we is hanging out. Um, that tells us also, especially that age group, teenagers, especially young teenagers, um, they have a tendency to think more in terms of group rather than individuality and so here Gwendolyn Brooks is pointing that out in her poem because we don't see any individual but the we is emphasized so we can get we can get this idea um, of, of, of the tone and what's going on and and the point of this entire poem it, it starts off very simple um, and it is, it's a simple poem, but it actually has a lot of depth within it. If you start looking a little further, uh, there is no word that is more than one syllable. Um, and it does have this kind of nursery rhymish quality to it. And what could that be? Well, do we see, uh, internal rhyme? Mm, no, we do see assonance, right? Um, cool school that's the ooh sound or eight straight so sin jin is the uh sound right oon at the at the bottom here oon soon all right uh we're also going to see alliteration right we could see here with the lurking and late and the striking straight and the jazzing in june and again if you read through this again um you'll see that it's a little bit of sing-songy and you know it's kind of easy to say and it's easy to recite and it has you know again it's kind of like this very simplistic tone to it but when you go a little bit deeper you're going to see that it has a deeper meaning and this is, I think, a meaning that we, we understand. We understand the, the life of some youths that, you know, they're little punks. They hang out on the street, etc. And, and the lives of some of them do not end well. And, and we understand that. So this is in contrast to the simplicity, the seemingly innocence of the poem to what the real message is. So that is just a quick way of looking through a poem and trying to analyze it explicate it a little bit explain what is going on within it and also see not only what the author is trying to say but the how how she set this up why she set this up with the rhyming with the we at the end um so that is that is one way of looking through a poem and trying to figure out what the poem is about Okay, so it is going to be your turn to do that with this poem. This poem is going to have um, a lot of rhyming. Uh, it's going to have a lot of, uh, we're going to see alliteration in it. Um, you'll see the en end rhyme. End rhyme is this, you, two, apart, heart. And then think about what is the author trying to say? What is the main point? And how is she saying it? What kind of um, poetic devices is she using? And uh, what kind of images are you getting? All right, so you will go through this on your own and uh, read in the module for further instructions. Thanks.